Assalamu alaikum and uh, very good afternoon. Uh, I'm really delighted to be part of IAS Symposium. And thank you for, uh, uh, to IAS inviting UNICEF to present on vertical transmission and uh, the program within the country. Um, as you can see the title, um, I have deliberately mentioned that uh, the vertical transmission, uh, that is parent-to-child transmission, uh, it has to now lead to elimination of mother-to-child transmission, as that is the global and uh, requirement, as well as the regional requirement. Um, I will quickly um, touch base on the PPTCT epidemiology, so that everybody is aware. Uh, we do know that Pakistan, um, that Pakistan uh, is the fastest growing epidemic in Asia Pacific region, and it has 84% increase of new infections over the decade. And then we do know that the country HIV infection percentages. But I am, um, I'm going to show that uh, the UNAIDS uh, data shows that estimated 3,100 pregnant women are uh, HIV positive. Uh, ha only 183 are receiving PPT services in the country. And uh, this is a very low coverage. Uh, although the number is very small, and that is what we usually hear, but uh, I think it's concerning because this is human rights. We talk about women, we talk about children, and it should be inclusive. Um, only 5.9% uh, or less have no, uh, with no data on final vertical transmission rate. 4,600 children are living with HIV and only 2,466, that's half of the number, are on ART, uh, with less than 1,000 uh, deaths. I, I would like to share, this is UNAIDS info, um, and the graph over here is the percentage of children who are infected with HIV to mothers delivering them which are HIV. You could see this is a 2010 to 19 data. And over a period of nine years, there's a very slight decrease in the percentage. Like from, let's say, 47% in 2010 to hardly 40% till 2019. It was a policy decision to uh, consider slides are not moving. I don't know. It was a policy decision to uh, consider mother to child transmission as a prevention to parent to child transmission because it's a shared responsibility by both parents. And in 2007, with the support of UNICEF and WHO National AIDS Control Program and Provincial AIDS Control Program, five prevention programs were initiated, and there were five pediatric sites uh, in the public tertiary care facilities to provide a comprehensive family-centered package and I'll share, uh, I'll touch base on this family package. Now there are total uh, 75 ART centers, and while I say this, this is adult ART centers. And only 12, uh, maybe 14 now, uh, functional PPTCT centers, prevention of parent to child. So you can see from here that uh, how the situation would be and only 20 pediatric ART centers. These are directly supervised by the Provincial AIDS Control Program. There's another um, 
data I would like to share. This is also 2010 to 2019. The, la the large bars, green bars, are actually the women living with HIV uh, who, are, who have delivered uh, in the past 12 months. And the small, very small, like in the first 400 numbers, uh, the bright green bars are the women on ARTs, right? So you can see the marked difference, the women who are positive and the one who are receiving ARVs. And then the yellow green, uh, yellowish bars are actually the women who are receiving ARVs before the current pr pregnancy. So this is also I wanted to share that in 2017 PDHS, Pakistan Demographic Health Survey, it was found out that men were more aware of HIV transmission during pregnancy, and during delivery, and during breastfeeding. And you can see the percentages compared to women. And the risk of transmission that can be reduced by a mother who takes the special drugs. So when looking at the trends over time and looking at three methods uh, for PMTCT, the knowledge among women has decreased from 23% to 16% and 40% to 36% among men. This is also 2017 PDHS survey. Now, screening of pregnant women during antenatal is mandatory from a policy perspective in Sindh, in KPK, in Punjab. Uh, in practice, actually, HIV testing and routine ANC screening at pu public sector is very patchy. So we do talk about that there is an ANC and there is a mandatory HIV testing, but uh, not necessarily. <clears throat> okay. Um, this is in another data which I would like to share that uh, it was seen that in 20, from 2010 to 2022, uh, this is an MIS data. It was seen that uh, the blue bars are actually the pregnant women with HIV. Orange are pregnant women with ART that we know and I share. But more important is this gray line, which is the percentage of PMT city coverage in the country. So you can see it was going up and it goes down. Then it goes up and it goes down. So in 2019, um, there was a 19% uh, drop to 5% in 2020. And this low coverage of PPTCT services, that is 13%, um, which was recorded in 2022, indicates that the targeted HIV testing services for women at risk is very low. It was seen that in the absence of women who has the access to ART, uh, transmission rate is, uh, increases from 15 to 45%. And without ART, half of the children born with HIV die by the age of two years. And this risk can be reduced to 2 to 5% or less by a timely diagnosis, obscure, and breastfeeding practices and infant prophylaxis. I'm struggling with this uh, pointer, sorry for that. I'll quickly touch on uh, this aspect as well while I was uh, listening to different presentations and I thought that this is very important. So uh, this is, I have taken out from a presentation when we invited Dr. Farid Munaz, who is the uh, head of the psychiatry department professor, 
in Rawalpindi Medical University, he shared that there is a greater risk of depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress symptoms uh, for a woman who is HIV positive. And the stressful factors of acquiring HIV uh, from a uh, partner, uh, there is a violence, there is not using condom use, um, uh, sexually transmitted infections, there is stress, there is stigma, and there is three times more likely mental health issues after the diagnosis of HIV than before contracting the virus. And now, currently, the health services are not addressing HIV-related needs of people living with mental illness, and that is uh, mental health issues and mental health uh, uh, issues for people living with HIV, mm, and particularly with context of women because they are marginalized, they are more stigmatized, and children and adolescent. And WHO says that there needs to be an integrated approach uh, for HIV and mental health. So that's also very important for us to consider. Now, these are the pol some of the key documents for PPTCT in the country. Uh, one more strategic framework, which was developed with the help of National AIDS Control Program, UNAIDS, UNICEF, and it is 2017. And then there is a pol uh, Pakistan Consolidated Guidelines on PPTCT. We know that uh, there are four-pronged approach uh, uh, for uh, HIV uh, PPT CT, CT. And I just wanted to share because in Pakistan, we are actually um, more working on prong three rather than a whole four prongs. Um, I just, although this evaluation of PPTCT program was done in 2015, it's almost nine years back, but just to let you know this is the program and some of the findings still exist uh, till date, some of the issues still exist. So it was found out, that, like I mentioned, that prong three uh, is very well uh, functioning in the country. Uh, which is actually the, um, um, I mentioned, prevention of HIV transmission. But very little attention is there for prong two and one. So two is uh, family planning and one is uh, prevention of infection. So centers are starting to follow up with the new guidelines of WHO, but majority of the babies are delivered with elective C-section. And there are gaps which were found on counseling. So this is prevention program. There is a lack of clarity on infant practices, feeding practices, weak infants, uh, emphasis on early infant testing and diagnosis. The PPT centers lack the counselors and uh, or the case managers due to the withdrawal of the funding. So very little funding is being you know focused on PPT city services. Um, there was a uh, prong to uh, is hardly existing. 80% of HIV positive uh, uh, from women of HIV positive. And then um, 86 to 160 infections were averted due to direct PPCT interventions. PPTCT center staff and providers are very worse with prong three, but they are deficient with prong two, that is family planning counseling and repo building. The, pro the providers have a, no a narrow clinical perspective, the ongoing incidence of stigma, limited involvement of men, uh, data issues, and uh, Now what is EMTCT and why I would like to touch on this, that we, there needs to be an elimination of uh, three, uh, it was, I'm glad uh, it came within the presentations and people asked about it. 
that there needs to be an elimination of HIV, hepatitis B, and syphilis because these are the three infections which coexist, the same route. And um, the four countries in Asia and Pacific, um, Malaysia, Thailand, Sri Lanka, Maldives, have already achieved their elim elimination. But, uh, and Bhutan is the fifth one. Our country uh, has implement, has uh, some issues. Um, I won't go into details, but these are the backgrounds that the hepatitis B testing is partially adopted for pregnant women with HIV, then there are issues with the, there's no STI program. So, and uh, um, recently UNICEF, WHO, and UNIDS have uh, commissioned to Nozal Institute uh, to review the progress of EMTCT, and Pakistan is one of them. And luckily, um, the case study has been developed and the roadmap is under finalization. So uh, we are hoping to very soon pilot EMTCT with the support of the uh, Provincial AIDS Control Program. And quickly, um, I don't have enough time, I know. Um, the challenges are very obvious. We have a very narrow clinical perspective on implementation of services with the continuum of care approach very few functional PPTCT centers or one-stop model in the country. The MIS for HIV, we all know it's uh, uh, the, the issues. Uh, the independent HIV hepatitis, uh, the independent programs, uh, we need to develop national uh, triple EMTCT policies. My, um, I think the cell is not working. No, I can't. Oh, okay, okay. So um, some recommendations are that we need a committed leadership for PPT City. Uh, we need a marked uh, uh, bu budgetary allocation. We, it is imperative to have an integrated HIV um, uh, services within the, um, for, um, uh, data collection. We need to establish um, and strengthen PPTCT services. We need to be on same. Uh, the, the issue is that although we have 14 functional PPT centers, uh, and um, but the not necessarily all uh, pregnant women or women with HIV they go to these centers, so they end up in adult variety centers. But they don't, uh, there's a disconnect. So uh, with, a co with a country where there is a social stigma and everything, we need to have these centers more in the country so that there is a proper one-stop model under one roof for them and they can seek care and uh, treatment for themselves and for the child she's going to bear. We need to have PrEP and PEP uh, um, uh, preventive services. We need to test um, ANC, universal ANC for higher burden uh, districts, SRH, pilot, EMTCT, mental health promotion. So last but not least, I'll quickly touch on Larkana, the Tegero outbreak and not go in details, but it was found out that these, um, this, uh, this, uh, Dr. Fatma is the associate professor in uh, Han University. Uh, she's the head of the Department of um, um, Pediatric uh, Infectious Diseases. It was found out, uh, I've taken these slides um, from her presentation that um, it is very important that private sector also is, comes under the, um, uh, under the umbrella of safe infections. It was found out that the children who's, who were uh, found out to be diagnosed with HIV were mostly uh, uh, suffering from parental uh, HIV rather than coming from vertical transmission in the country. So it is very important that there needs to be um, ANC visits more frequently, there needs to be parental uh, treatment safety, uh, knowledge tests for the healthcare providers, um, 
safety for uh, uh, syringes, and all children with this factor should be have more encourage increasing uh, safety measures. Universal testing for women with children, and then duplex multiple testing platforms, and risk-based testing. Thank you so much.